Well, hey folks, relaunching with John Rathlons, my review of New Japan Pro Wrestling's Best of the Super Juniors, the finals, day 14 technically, but the finals, that's what the title of this is going to be. Apologies if this review is a little bit quick. I had to be at work in about 45 minutes, <coughs> and I just got done with this event, and oh, what an ending it was. Seven match card, they didn't even announce the actual rest of the card until like six hours before bell time. Now, I know that they just had the final, or the... You know, they decided the finals the day before, but still, they could have announced at least a couple matches, but oh well. <clears throat> anyway, minor quibble. Really, really good event. Cork and Hall, of course, always hosts some of the best events, honestly. The crowd is electric, despite how small it is. Chris Saban and Flip Gordon, so apologies again if I rush through some of this stuff. Chris Saban, Flip Gordon versus Tiger Mask and Shota Umino. Shota Umino continues to improve. Good exchanges. Flip pins Shota. Decent stuff. Saban actually joins for commentary from the third match on. He did a whole lot better than Chase Owens the uh, <coughs> previous night. And him and Kevin Kelly actually had some really, really good chemistry there. So I think Chris Saban could uh, you know, make some spot appearances on New Japan commentary when he, you know, in between his Ring of Honor appearances. But Yoshihashi, Yano, and Tomohiro Ishii versus Minoru Suzuki, Izuka, and Taka. Anytime you get Izuka in a match, you're going to get a lot of biting. You're going to get a lot of ridiculousness. Taka, of course, hilarious but also good. Suzuki throwing everybody at everybody, throwing young lions at young lions and chairs at everybody. <coughs> That's how Suzuki gets down. Um, outside immediately, of course, poor ring announcer gets like crushed underneath this one spot, but then he still makes the count, you know, doing the 20 count that the referee is doing. Uh, it's like, you want to get Ishii and Suzuki in a match? Hey, I'm for it. I'm for that feud. Uh, low blow for the win, Yano being Yano, and there we go. So, yep. Yeah. Chaos got the victory, so okay. And then uh, Show Yo and Goto, so Repogni 3K, and uh, Goto versus Desperado, Kanemaru, and Tai Chi. Decent enough match. Miho's back. Hooray! I am a happy fan. Um, this is mainly hype for Dominion. Well, the never open weight three way that Elgin's going to be involved in. I hope Tai Chi beats Goto or Goto retains. Elgin might sadly win. <coughs> um, it's outside quickly. Poor Oka got hurt again. Well, hopefully he seems okay. I mean, he's just taking another, you know, bump from a dive outside. Uh, decent spots, good forum exchange, and then deep impact. Nope. Yo gets the pin with a bridge, and then Desperado and Kanemaru attack afterwards and attack Repugni 3K, and it's possible that we may get a match at Dominion. The, as of right now, the full card has not been announced, but if they want to have Repugni 3K versus uh, Kanemaru and El Desperado again, yeah, sure, why not? Why not? I'm here for it. They'll deliver a good match. And then fourth match, Hanari and Tanahashi. Sorry if I'm rushing through this stuff. Hanari and Tanahashi versus Marty Skrull and um, Yujiro with Yana, I believe was her name. A uh, young lady that uh, Yujiro, of course, Tokyo Pimp had with him. It was a really cool moment where Marty Skrull saw two uh, fans dressed up as him, you know, in the villain gear and everything. And somebody shared the three Spider-Man meme where they're all pointing at each other. So <clears throat> that that was good stuff. Um, that was cool that uh, Skrull did that posing with the fans. Good tag action. Hanari keeps getting better. Honestly, he keeps getting better. Seems like we're going to get Skrull versus a couple of Japanese legends. Pimp dropped DDT for three. Skrull had confronted Liger um, outside the ring. And then had attacked Tanahashi afterwards. Uh, of course, so did Yujiro. Well, Liger's on commentary, and he ruts, runs out there, runs out there, and starts, uh, you know, and fights him off and everything. So, Skrull wants to face both of them. Liger ripping his shirt off, looking better at fifty three than I did at twenty three. That's just how great of shape that guy's in. How, what a great athlete he is. That's what we're gonna get. We're gonna get Skrull versus Tanahashi versus Liger at Dominion. Perhaps they didn't announce the date, but hey, they need more matches for Dominion, and I'm here for that whole damn card. So I'm here for it. I'm all for it. Make it make it happen. I, I cannot wait to see that match. It's going to be great. Liger will probably get pinned by Skrull, but whatever. Um, still, still, good uh, good good way to hype uh, hype a future match. Decent enough tag. <coughs> ACH Dragon Lee Taguchi and Kachita versus Lij. Uh, Bushi Sonata Evil and Naito. Apologies for looking down on my notes. Uh, there were dancing spots before where like Naito's team was in, and you had like ACH dancing, which was really really cool. That was before the match. It was really, really fast-paced, as you would expect with most of these guys. Good tag team work. Skull in for the win. ACH gets a uh, beat. <clears throat> and good stuff. Then we had a Jericho promo. So it was a decent enough match. Then Jericho cuts a promo. 
Naito says that Jericho talks too much and he will beat him at Dominion. More or less. I mean, I didn't quite catch everything. They had a Jado out there translating on commentary, but I didn't catch everything that he said. And then Osprey and Okada versus Ibushi and Chase Owens. This was good. If we are going to get Osprey versus Ibushi at some point, oh yes, please let that happen. Shut up and take my money. Uh, it's a good build for Dominion. Okada even hit a um, even hit a V trigger at one point. Sort of, kinda. Omega's really the only one that does that move well. Rollins sure as hell didn't, and Rollins is a great athlete, but they need to <coughs> invent moves, you know, invent more moves and stuff like that, because keep keep some moves for those that do it the best. Copying doesn't do any good, but it was just Okada trying to get under Omega's skin and saying, hey, I'm relaxed, I'm going to beat you in this match, and Omega's been trained like a beast. And also doing um, stuff for Street Fighter. One of the Street Fighter games, Street Fighter Five, Street Fighter Fifteen. I don't really know. But good on good on Omega. It, I'm I'm really happy for him. Good tag match, <clears throat> and it built up stuff. It, it built up stuff really really nice. Especially a future Osprey versus Ibushi match. I am here for that. And then we go to the main event. Sweet Jesus, Sweet Jesus. This is where I'm going to take a couple minutes to talk about this. Hiromu versus Ishimori. My goodness, I honestly got thought Ishimori was going to win this. I really really did. This is the mat. And by the way, I will be doing a top ten. Matches of <coughs> the best of the Super Juniors. I actually already had the list figured out. I just had to figure out where to place this. The instant, this is about 15 minutes in, I slawed this at number one. And I'm so glad I did because, my God, it was tremendous. It was honestly got tremendous. This was a great, great match. Great pacing. The crowd wanted Hiromu to get the victory. My God, they had to have him win. He had to win. He had to. Now, that being said, I thought Ishimori was going to get the victory. I really, really thought he would. It was <clears throat> it was a massively big match, huge fight feel. It got fast really quick. The I really can't describe it, and I know this review may be a little bit shorter than others, but really, since the rest of the card was just announced, like, you know, last minute, some of the matches had some good build to them, but... You know, like, I mean, as far as, like, any history between some of the stars. But really, this was a one-match show. And people were here for the finals. That's why they even added seats. Like, the, if I'm right, Kevin Kelly and Chris Saban were on commentary up in, like, like I don't want to say in the cheap seats, but up in a balcony or something like that. Because they added seats where the commentary normally is. They wanted to make sure that every fan could get in there that possibly could. <clears throat> Might want to consider running a bigger venue next time, even though Corican Hall has a great, great history. This is just great stuff, though. This is great stuff. You had the coast-to-coast dropkick uh, in the crowd, much like Hiromu did, I believe, to El Desperado earlier in the tournament. I believe it was El Desperado. Sorry, there's been a lot of matches in this tournament, so I'm sorry if I get some of the opponents screwed up. Uh, stair spot soon after, it looked like uh, Hiromu was going to do a powerbomb. On either on the chairs or on the on the floor, and then Ishimori reversed that, and Hiromu tumbled down the stairs like legit. I, I mean, he tumbled down safely enough, but it's hard to do that spot safely. Hopefully, he's okay. Major league drop kick off the um, off the apron, sending Ishimori into the crowd. <coughs> Chair usually great snap German by Ishimori before that. Great momentum switches. The cross face by Ishimori is done perfectly. Um, honestly, got way too many spots to call on this. You you guys have to go watch this. If you're a New Japan fan, you haven't had a chance to see this yet, or if you have seen it and want to watch it again, you may want to watch it again. This was a damn fucking good match, and I, again, thought Ishimori's going to get the victory. I'm like, well, fuck. And whatever. I mean, Ishimori versus Osprey wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. We got to see it on day one, so yeah, we could see it again. <clears throat> but that's not what we got. We got Hiromu winning. Yeah, the triangle choke, um, teases, all that, all that great stuff. So much, so so much great action here. Crowd loved it. They got the crowd into it, slowed it down a bit, got the crowd back into it again. I mean, the crowd was pretty much on the edge of their seat. I was on the edge of my seat. I was watching on my PC. Like, I didn't even realize I almost fell off my damn chair during this. And I can't say that that's happened in a lot of matches, even with New Japan this year. I mean, a few, but. I can't believe that this match was... I, I mean, I knew it was going to be good. I knew it was going to be great. I didn't think that it would be on the match of the year 
list <clears throat> because it's an ever growing list. And that's nothing against Hiromu, that's nothing against Ishimori. I just didn't think, I was like, okay, it, it's going to be the match of the, you know, the tournament, but how is it going to top like a lot of performances? And it did. Hiromu, MVP of this tournament by far. Ishimori's not very far behind. Uh, Sho and Yo have done very, very well, but he had the time bomb for the victory. So, <clears throat> you know, <laughs> Hiromu gets the victory. People went nuts. I went nuts. I was freaking clapping. I was just clapping and yelling. I was thrilled. And I would have been happy with either. Honestly, after that match, I would have been happy with either. It was 30 plus minutes. Apparently the longest match in the uh, Best of Super Juniors finals history. And it was just a damn good match. Just a damn good match. Hiromu getting the victory. Right call. Hiromu versus Osprey is going to happen at Dominion. I am here for that. That really is good. Dominion's going to be a stellar show. And I hope that you guys um, are here for it. I hope that you guys will watch it. I hope you guys will watch my review. But regardless, let's all enjoy this. The um, the fallout of this. Fallout of this event. Great Best of Super Juniors. Really good matches. I mean, there were only a couple eh. And that was like the Kushida Taguchi one. But even that was because Kushida apparently had diarrhea. And thank you for telling me that. Um, to, thank you to the thank you to the folks who told me that. I really do appreciate you informing me. So I didn't think that uh, Japan was just screwing with everybody. This was a really good Best of Super Juniors. Um, I'm going to say because of the main event, I'm going to say B+. Because every other match was eh. You know, was was decent to good. But with really no build before it, beyond a couple things, B+, this main event is the reason. If this main event had not been nearly as good, it probably would have gotten, I'd say, about a B-. Minus. And actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to bump. Eh, no, I'll, I'll still say B+. Plus. Main event made this show. So anyway, that's what I got to say. Agree, disagree with what I said? Like, share, comment, subscribe. Twitter link in the description. It's been real honest with John Rithlin. My New Japan Best of the Super Juniors, the finals review. I will be back for Dominion with other reviews before that. But anyway, see you soon.